Don't laugh. No, we're not making fun of them. We gotta be super <laughs> sensitive them. now, right? Yeah. No, they have a great show. Okay. Because not if you laugh. <laughs> I'm Felicia. Not if you laugh. It's like really. This really, is JC. Just J G J C. What is your what name? The hell? You what is my that? name? You just stuttered. I stuttered because you were like, I'm what? J C. Hi, this is our game I'm Joe Carlo. I'm Felicia. And this is our review of Monarch. Wow, you got it right. The Monarch. first shot. I'm like, Monarch. Monarch. Oh, and then you Who screwed will it up. rain? Monkey gun. Uh, question. Monarch, monarchy is like the matriarchy, right? Almost, no? No, that's something. No, no matriarchy is uh, women. Yeah, monarch yeah. is. I thought uh, it was like women. Is uh, like a king. So this someone is gets, very uh, nice. I like it. Very medieval. Appointed. Art. This is cool. I like this. Is this a good game? Mm -hmm. But you have to wait and see for a review. If oh, we yes. Give it I'll tell you what. But you see, all there's play, five houses. Like, you all play right? as sisters. Five banners, there's four, there's four banners. Well, there's five, 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 there's five banners. There's five banners, but you. You get to choose one, and you all play as women. You all play as sisters. So I'm right. It does have to do monarch is something women related. No, because you could have a monarch. A king is a monarch. I, in this game, they're all sisters. But this is whoever whoever will become queen. Monarch monarchy means king or queen. It okay. doesn't mean it's, it has nothing but to do with gender. But I had, I, j'avais un pressentiment, like I felt it that it was. Why are you talking mean? French? I don't know. What, what's your problem? I, don't know. I mean, not that there's a problem talking French, but I you know, most of you. Too many. In Monarch, players will play as sisters vying for leadership in the land of Minervia. You'll reap food from your farms, tax villages, and fill your court with the right things, following a path you've chosen for yourself. In the process, why not send unwanted guests to your sisters as a nuisance, which might just give you the edge. Have the most victory points at the end of the game, and you'll be fit to become the next queen. Shuffle the land boards and place 9 in a 3x3 grid, returning the others to the box. Shuffle the market deck and reveal 5 cards to create the market row. Any moon cards are replaced and shuffled back in the deck. Now place the 5 banners on top of this row. Give each player or sisters five food and five gold and place the rest in their respective pool. Give them as well the four double-sided reminder cards. The youngest sister will play first and then play proceeds clockwise. Each turn, the sisters have a choice of doing actions in any order. Action can be done multiple times, acquire cards and sweep the market. But the two others, harvest or tax, can only be done once per turn. And the sister must choose which one to do while foregoing the other. Let's look at these two first. Harvest lets you collect food from all the farms on the board. Count how many each farm will provide in food, total them up, and receive that many food token. Or a sister can choose to tax instead. To do so, she counts how many villages there are in the board and pays that many food tokens. Then she'll count the gold each village gives, totals them up, and receives that much gold. Acquire cards lets you buy the cards for the price listed here in the upper right corner. The card gets replaced right away. If there are no cards you like, you can always sweep the market by paying 3 gold. This will make you discard all the cards in the market row and replace them with new ones. If you draw a moon card, do its effect and then remove it from the game. Most will have the sisters negotiate. Remember, you can perform the four actions in any order and as many times as you want, besides the harvest or tax action. Let's take a look at the cards. As stated, each card, besides the moon cards, will have a price on the upper right corner. There are four types of cards you can buy. Court cards, village improvement, farm improvement, and unwanted guests. Unwanted guests are cards you can buy and give to another sister. They'll be worth negative points at the end of the game. Note that though they go in front of a player, they are not considered to be in their court. Village and farm improvements go on top of the previous card or the respective tile itself on the board. These will usually increase food or gold production for everyone and do not belong to a specific sister. Court cards do belong to one sister though and go in their court. These will give victory points and you are limited to 7. When buying a court card, you can choose to add or replace another court card you have. Remember, unwanted guests do not count as court cards and cannot be replaced as such. Each court and improvement card may also have a path listed here. They are Bounty, Culture, Wisdom and Might. Once in a game, on your turn, you may choose to fly one and only one banner. They'll all have requirements listed here, give you special powers as listed here, and will give you more victory points at the end of the game as listed here. The victory points will increase the more same path cards you have in courts, and same path improvement cards on the board. These banners can never be taken by another sister. 
but do be careful when taking one as you cannot switch them mid-game. So plan your strategy accordingly. At the end of a round, if a sister has 7 cards in her courts, the game ends and points are scored. The back of the reminder card will show you how. First count the crown's value of your court cards, minus your unwanted guess. Add any bonuses from your court cards, and lastly, add your banner bonuses. The player with the most wins. After playing a few games of Monarch as a reviewer, I noticed a lot of elements that are double-edged swords that fit in both pro and con sections. Like the artwork and design, for example. I love the dark, moody style and artwork of this game, yet have to give a con point for design. When playing at a table and you need to buy something from the market row, the gold and food value on the cards are way too small and you need to pick them every single time. No reason why it couldn't have been bigger. With the improvement cards, it is extremely easy to place them on a farm or village by mistake when it goes on the other. And beasts or garment type court cards took me a while to figure out was denoted by this faint icon here. Another point that is a double-edged sword is the fantastic idea of having the players be heroines as they play sisters. Great boost for gender equality in board games. Yet, that feeling quickly dissipates as it doesn't delve any further along with that aspect. I mean, you could easily have changed the term of sister to nobles and it would have still worked perfectly. I wish they would have gone further with what they have. I wish they would have gone further with what they thought of and that would be a point that reoccurs in this review missed potential. Like gameplay and choices, it definitely works and plays smoothly and quickly, but as much as you have a strategy and choice of paths in the game, tactically, you are extremely limited in choice. I mean, you simply acquire the cards you can afford in your path, buy improvements before you farm or tax, and sweep whenever a card your path is not there, hoping you get one. So you do have this sense that the game plays you sometimes. Balancing is another double-edged sword. The game has 12 cards for each suit, which is balanced enough, and there is some luck mitigation, but every single game we played, the player who chose culture as its path always won. That's because the banner itself creates a swing in points, and you can once per turn send an unwanted guest to another sister for free and gain points from it. So as the other players, you constantly need to make sure you're sending unwanted guests from the market row there, or they get sent to you. To alleviate this problem, I think they should have made culture cards a bit more pricey. As a very light gateway family game, this might be interesting to some. As I said, the game does work, but the main factor for me is Monarch had some really cool ideas and I just wish they went further with it, from mechanics like play interaction to its theme. As such, I feel it missed its potential and gets a 6 out of 10. Five minutes that's not bad it's a, it's a quick game oh, it's a very quick game i want to play perhaps all the dragons in our lives are princesses who are only waiting to see us act just once with beauty and courage <laughs> Cha -cha. <laughs> oh my god and i love it this is great fantastic amazing don't kill me with the box i'm sorry <laughs> 